All right. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Yes, I think so. For some reason, I don't know. I need to figure out why it keeps switching off my mic. It's done this a few times to me. All right. So you can hear me now. All right. Perfect. Thanks for subscribing again, Sweeky. Super exciting. Um, all right. Let me. I was just going through and getting set up. Sorry, I was a little bit late. Um, I had to reboot my machine right before starting, which is always fun. You're like, ah, quick, reboot, reboot. And so I'm back and I'm here. All right. So let me get, I didn't finish setting up my folders. I was just going to go grab our agenda and let's figure out what the agenda is going to be. Um, oh, fixing stream. Ha, ah, that's funny. We'll fix that. I hope not the readme. Let's go to... Can't find the agenda. There we go. And I'm going to switch screens so we can look at our agenda together. Um, how's everyone's week going? Good week, everyone. It's nice and sunny here. It's like really sunny here. So I hope I don't get too hot in my office because it's really hot. And with the green screen, I kind of need to keep um, what am I thinking? I got to keep the lights consistent so I can't use um, I can't use like my windows open. And we don't have air conditioning in Alaska because why would you? It's 60 degrees outside. But yeah, 62, but sunny, so it's getting hot in my office. All right, so let's hope let's hope it doesn't kill me. And I have to turn off the stream. All right, oh, no, I don't want to go here. I was looking at the agenda. Let's look at the agenda, and let's figure out what we want to do today. The app's been coming along. I just Let's run it really quick. Um, install command line tools. Oh, because I switched it over. To, I was playing with the beta stuff. Right. I forgot I was doing that. Sec. Who else has downloaded the beta? I couldn't help myself. I had to. I had to play with the new hotness. It's always fun. I installed the new OS on one of my Macs and also on one of my iPads. So. Oh, yeah. See, I didn't use it on like my phone or like my main machine, but some people have, and I'm kind of tempted to. The new stuff's been kind of fun to play with. I couldn't get my old Mac Pro, I couldn't get it to do the screen sharing thing, the sidecar, which is really sad. That's why I upgraded my iPad, so I could do that, because that's what really excited me. So I may update my laptop just so I can try it out. Uh, and then today is, what is today? It's the f June something. I can see it on that computer, but it's June 5th. All right. Uh, 2019 and all right I'm trying to remember where we left off and what we want to work on come on launch the iPad are you not gonna launch the iPad for me okay I might need to oh it's still installing those components so no it's not gonna install until those finish that's nice of it can I launch them manually devices and simulators maybe uh, no, that's not even going to launch yet. All right, well, let's work on the agenda. Um, yeah, I'm not. I'm using the old Xcode, too. I have both of them on here. So VS won't do it only on the new one. Yeah, but I have both. I have both. I'm not I'm not that crazy. And I'm still on the old OS here, so everything should still work except for me adding an extra Xcode in here, which it's in its sandbox anyway. All right, so album art. We really need to do the album art now playing screen because it's been driving me nuts not having that there. So we will definitely do that. Move that out of here. I'm wondering if the, any of this stuff is still f looking interesting or if we should just spend a lot of time cleaning up that now playing stuff. Yeah, I'm not on Catalina yet, David, so I should be safe. I should be safe. I'll leave it in here just in case we feel like it. But I wonder if we should do stuff for that top bar. I really want to get some of the UI stuff cleaned out, and I think we're in a good place to do that. All right, Xcode launched. Perfect. So now I should be able to launch from here. I might have to restart Visual Studio. We'll do that really quick. I didn't have the tools installed. I think the old tools were still installed. So I'm just going to launch one manually while I restart Visual Studio, which is not happy about that. 
simulators. All right. And I was using, which one am I using? I'm using an iPhone XR. Can you boot from here? I thought you could. Uh, there's Xcode, developer tools, simulator. That's what I was looking for. There's the XS, and while that one's booting, we're going to boot an XR. And Visual Studio, please launch. Didn't like it last time I force quit. I had to restart to get to come back up. Let's kill some stuff from Google. Every time I reboot my computer, Google tries to resync every one of my photos. And so my CPU sits at like 200% for like a couple hours, which is not kind. I manually quit it. That should have done it. That'll help my CPU usage. That's up. Go Visual Studio Go. Well, we may be restarting, and I wanted to update to an, a preview, but I didn't get to do that yet. Oh, this is going to be a... Oh, did I not update all my information? I thought I did. Thanks for telling me, Sweeky. All right, I pressed update. If my stream saying I'm doing Beat Saber, I'm obviously not. If you refresh, it should now say I'm not doing Beat Saber. Hopefully. I thought I updated it before my stream started. Because I don't want it wrongly listed. Maybe I'll manually update. Man, everything's falling apart, so I don't guess it doesn't matter what it says today. All right, let's try make sure nothing's loaded in here Visual Studio-wise. All right, now let's launch it. Hope it goes this time. Oh, why is Twitch still saying I'm on Beat Saber? Okay, it's updated now. Yay, it doesn't say Beat Saber anymore. And Visual Studio is going to launch this time. I hope. Um, it's not even showing up in my processes. How is this possible? Has anyone ran into this where they can't? I think I have another Visual Studio. Why do I have an old one? What's old? It'll launch. I'm going to go with it. Anything that'll launch right now. I don't think my preview I have will go because I don't have the right mono framework. But I can quickly download that, manually install it, and get that one up and going. Just anything to get it working right now. Wow, I may need to reboot my machine. I am running out of options. I did nothing. I did nothing. Um, I was tried running something and it wouldn't launch. I force quitted Visual Studio and then it won't open after that. So let me run Mono. Oh, it's still downloading Mono so I can do the preview one. I'm just going to click this and see how long it bounces. You guys can't see, but I have the bouncing Visual Studio and I can't even make it big enough to show you. So you guys are all watching me fight tooling right now, and there's 10 people watching me do nothing. That's exciting. So while Visual Studio is trying to fix itself, what do you guys want to talk about? Um, I'm wondering if there's anything else we want to do on our agenda. I would like to do a search screen sometime soon because that is really useful. The equalizer is going to be fun to build out the UI for that. That's what I'm excited for in that. Swift UI! Swift UI looks really exciting. I've actually played with it. Like I just said, I installed it on one of my machines. And it's kind of cool. Uh, I played with it a little bit. It's a little unnerving for me not to have commas, though. Um, having those lists of just bam, 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 no commas. I don't know. I could get used to it, but it was pretty unnerving. That's my biggest issue. And my download is going so slow. What network am I on? Just making sure I'm on USB wired, not just wireless. My download is going abysmally slow. All right, toggled Wi-Fi off to make sure it was using the USB one. All right, so you just want to work on completing some UI stuff? We can do that. Um, yeah, I mean, I was rather impressed. I had really... Okay. I'm just going to restart my machine, and you guys get to see how painfully slow this thing restarts. 
because I don't know what else to do. I'm just going to restart. We're doing it. Luckily, I stream on two machines. My stream's not going to go down. We're just going to get a blank screen. It's gone. It's gone. All right, that is booting. Well, that boots up. I'm going to switch to a selfie because why not? You can't see my screen, and I got to type in a bunch of passwords and reboot stuff. So, ah, I'm really sorry. I don't know what's happened. And AD's down, so I can't even log in to install the beta I want to do. So that's really fun. I didn't do anything. I really, really didn't. I have no idea what happened. I didn't update anything on this machine. I did all of that on another one. Okay, maybe I'll try logging into AD and then updating everything. And let me get my chat on this screen here next to me since it's not in front of me now. Uh, if I can find chat. Chat! I found chat! Woo! Stream chat! Why can't I drag this window, though? Oh, kids are yelling at me. There is a moose in my yard. Should move the camera around. Maybe we should go look at the moose. Yes, those are the, the things that get chanted through my house regularly. Moose! Oh, and it worked, but all of my resolutions are wrong. I'm rebooted. It's coming back. Okay. Let's see if Visual Studio will launch. Wow, and everything's going. Glad I didn't share my screen because everything's on the wrong screen right now. See all my emails. Launch Visual Studio. Please launch. It's doing a different bounce. Yay, it launched. All right, I'm going to try logging in really quick to my Microsoft account. So I'm going to keep my screen off really quick. Almost back. We are almost back. Let me see if I can log in. Actually, I can share my screen in just a second. Oh man, rough start today, guys. Again, I apologize. We all have these rough start days. It happens. That's right, you just get to stare at my face and my green screen. Your dog tried to take down a deer? We've always been scared of our dogs like trying to take down a moose because they'll do that. They'll try. Um, yeah. So um, funny thing about a moose, we had a moose in our yard. And back when our dog, we had a chihuahua. And our chihuahua actually took off after the moose. Well, moose are scary. Man, I can't log in. All right, not going to probably not. Oh, actually, let me try removing and re-adding my account. Um, so with the chihuahua, the chihuahua decided he was going to chase and... Yeah, chase the dog I, or the moose. I don't know what he was planning on doing. Most people don't realize how big moose are. Moose are like, oh, I can't even remove that account. Sign out button. Uh, moose are just giant, like 3,000 pound animals. They make horse look tiny. And our little chihuahua decided he was going to chase him. And he did. And moose don't normally run. Moose are just big and they're not really scared of anything maybe bears but aside from that they're not even scared of cars they just like mosey around but this moose took off at full speed running from our chihuahua it was like the funniest thing i've ever seen and i was worried because normally when moose don't like things they just kick them or stomp them and if it kicked or stomped the dog that would have been the end of that but yeah he took off running and like booked it from this chihuahua like ran full speed it was so funny so funny. Okay, it might let me log in. I'm at a different state than I was. Log in. It's the two-factor stuff where it has to send me a notification to my phone. It won't send a notification to my phone or do anything. Open link. Open in a new window. Do anything. Copy link. Can I manually do this? I'm trying some hacks, guys, because that's what I like to do. Oh, wait, wait. Is it doing it? No, it's not. It's authenticating my account. It's doing something. No, I can't do it with my pin on any site or from any browser. All right, we're not doing that. 
we are just going to pray to the demo gods that it doesn't lock up again and make me restart my machine. And if it does, I'm going to get the old or the old I have the old mono downloaded so I can install and switch branches at least if things break. All right, let me get my screen refigured out. Um, I need to get my windows uh, almost done. Yeah, our two-factor authentication stuff is down right now. All right, and okay, those are up, those are up. I am almost ready. Okay, that's up. That window's ready. One more window. Oh, got a crazy echo. Fix that. Fixing my little alert window so I can see when you guys do your funny actions. And... Let's hope they, that's working. It's working! Oh, that's the wrong. Let's do this as the alert box. And then this one as chat. I have chat. I have my code up. We are ready! Sorry, guys. Rough, rough start today. Actually, let me do one more thing just to make sure I have all my windows moved to the right area. Okay, good. Nothing. We're good. Hey, the new VS Code logo is out now. I didn't notice that. It is different. All right. <gasps> Exciting! All right. Oh, I wasn't paying attention to the chat. I lost it. Speaking of human equivalent chihuahuas, <laughs> you agree with that attitude. All right. Let's get going. Fish logo? Yeah, the fish logo is out. And I have the mono ready. I will install the new mono if this thing gets finicky. And we are good. Why is Spotify open? Don't want Spotify open. Uh, music, move this over here. Got music going. We can code! All right. Let's see if I can launch. That's going to be the exciting part. It's going farther than it was. Quit that. Make sure we got a window for Googling ready. <gasps> Sorry, guys. We are like 15 minutes late, 20 minutes late. But we are now coding and working. Let's get the app up and running. See what it looks like. And decide what to work on. All right, search page is empty. Oh, am I on the... Which branch am I on? I'm on my shell branch. Actually, I want to do one thing. So I was doing a shell branch, trying to do some advanced stuff in shell. And I was actually given some tips from someone. So the Bailey Brew messaged me once I was offline. He watched the video later and gave some tips on what we can do to fix some of this stuff. So I just want to test something. So right now in my version, if you tap on one of the headers, it blows up. And he told me I could do something to fix that. I just want to try that really quick. And then we'll go to the real app. Um, root shell. And on my root shell stuff, I was doing a hybrid approach of half XAML, half C sharp, because I can't help myself. Um, root shell. This does this, to flyout item. So on here, on these flyout items, there's an enable, is enabled. All right, so I can do, Okay, and if item is page, then we'll just say I think this will now fix my crash. Yeah, I'm not going to continue on the switch or Swift one for right now. I'm going to go back. There's a couple fixes that Shane has done to make it better for some of the issues I was having, and so I haven't tested those yet, and maybe I should. I don't know. I don't know if I. I think I'm gonna go back to the main one, because the only thing I've done is change these shell things out. Ah, oh, it still crashed. All right. Because what he was saying is I can go in and set the is enabled to null. May maybe did I do those backwards? I did them backwards. I did that exactly backwards. Booleans are hard. <laughs> I mess up Booleans all the time. Most of the time with a Boolean, I have to do it twice. I don't know why Booleans are so hard, but they are. Let's try that. That's pretty exciting if that fixes my crash. 
That was an easier fix than I thought. And he was also saying, go do the data template to switch between them. Hey, yes, and it doesn't let me select them. That's actually better than the old version. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Thank you. Thank you very much, The Daily Brew. If you go back and rewatch this one, that'll be useful. All right. So the other stuff he had on some stuff with routes, which I haven't even touched routes yet. And then, of course, he was saying use the data templates to switch between the two, and I just haven't done that yet. Um, unshell. Dang it, my agenda is all done in the wrong one. So what we're going to do is fixed crash on header tap. Commit that. Let's go to open in terminal. Get... <laughs> Yeah, I am. I look forward to doing routes eventually. I really want routes. That's one of the things that really draws me to shell. Okay, is that stashed? Now let's go back to def. Uh, let me push this up in case anyone's playing with the shell stuff. Let's go to master and then get stash pop. Now our agenda's back. And that looks good. Let's commit this. Push that agenda up. I'll restart GitHub's and they'll be happy. Let me. All right, let's update our topic now. Actually, did we decide we want to work on? We're gonna work on some UI. And so, oh, I was planning on adding some new stuff to Stream Helper. Let's do. Let's see if that actually works. Well, let's do topic. And our topic. What are we doing? Um. Building, building, yeah, that should be good. All right, Stream Helper, go do your job. <gasps> what? I got logged out? Luckily, SimpleAuth's really easy to log back in. I'm going to move this off stream while I do that. Oh, it actually copied it already. It already did it for me. I didn't even need to copy that URL. And it just updated. Yay! Let me clear this text. Actually, we'll just do a new window. All right. Fixed. It actually launched the thing and gave it to me, and then I just had to copy the URL from my web browser that popped up. All right. Simple so useful, guys. So useful. If you're not using it, start. Yeah, I even use it in my console apps. All right. So when I should check if Twitter, or Twitter worked, then it should have. It tweeted! Yay! And my hashtags worked. I added hashtags. So I'm glad those worked too. All right. Now that we're in, let's. We switched branches. We shouldn't have that stuff anymore. Let's go to. Let's rebuild it now and see what it looks like in our current one. The temperature is not too bad in my office. I have the windows opened with the blinds closed, so I'm still getting some breeze. Just too many computers in here. One of my summer projects is going to go put a shelf in the garage and move my servers out of my office into my garage. Um, garage temperatures in Alaska, we have to heat it to like 50 in the winter, so it's always nice and cool. In the summer, it's never above like 65, so it's like the perfect place to put computers, and then it doesn't make my office hot. Uh, is it launching? So I'm excited to do that project. And then it should also up my bandwidth, because then there'll be, there's like the routers right on the other side of the wall. So it'll be like direct into my, into my switches instead of like an additional switch in my office. Give me more bandwidth in my office, which is always exciting. All right. We're back to the, oops, I didn't mean to tap on a song. Pause the music. We're back into, yay, we're back into normal G music now. And we've got our fancy, I need to do the enabled on this thing. Because I like how the other one doesn't let you select. Just fancy. Okay, so we have our now playing screen. Let's get some album artwork in here. Um, Yeah. Now, to do this right, 
I'm going to want to center it inside this available area. And I want some rules to where there's a maximum size. Let's, the old logic was a tad tricky, nothing to actually, and yeah. And let's actually do, let's check one other thing while we're at it. Um, side, bottom navigation, there's a bottom bar or something. So I'm looking at two things right now. One thing I want to look at is the exact rules I did for my album art sizing last time. The thing that I, the reason I'm worried about this now is different screen sizes. You don't want them to be like hideous. And like on an iPad, there's a max size, so there's still stuff for prettiness. And yeah, I just don't want. And I wanted some space, and I do a box. Actually, we have the old one, right? Let's do device XR. We can look at it or XS. XS has the old one. Where did I put this bottom? Oh, slide up panel. That's what it was. So our slide up panel, this percent thing should be getting set, which is interesting. We could, I'm trying to think how we're going to tie into this. So I think I have the code already written to where this thing gets changed. So as this percent changes, we can do things based off of layout or do layout based off of it, or really we need to fade out this bar and fade in another bar. Or maybe we'll do an offset to move it up. So as it slides up, it goes up even farther and gets out of the way. I don't know, maybe we'll fade. Not, just, not sure which way we wanna go on this. But let's do some album art. Let's do that first before I get too distracted. Um, and the album art hooks are already all there for doing all the other images. We just need to add a new view in, decide how we want to do it, and then set that with the same same URL. It's looking so good. I can't believe how far along we got it. We also can build our custom slider. We also need to throw in a native volume control. iOS has a built-in volume control that if we use it, we get lots of magic. Um, AirPlay. AirPlay is for free if you use their volume control. So we're throwing their volume control in there. So why isn't that loading? And nothing's loading today. So let's add a new view. Well, let's just do, we'll do our volume view in there. And this is going to be, and the worst thing about this is inside of iOS in the simulator, if you're doing the volume view, it actually doesn't show you anything. What's the date? Go inside of forms. Okay, it is a view. Perfect. And what we'll do is for now, we'll just say background color equals white. Wheat. Why not? Let's go with wheat. I like it. And we'll throw that in with a set height, and then we're going to swap that out per platform. So we're not going to deal with that for long. Did this load? All right, it loaded that time. Weird. No, it didn't. It lied. My simulator's locked. <gasps> no! Okay, this simulator's borked. Does this one have the old G music on it too? No, only this one does. All right, let's just work on album art and then forget the old one. Um, I might, yeah, I think, let's go grab the old code. I just want to make sure I'm doing this right. So, um, let's go into iOS, view, UI, views. Uh-oh, David said that there's a way to fix some of the similar things if they lock. So I may be checking that thing out. I don't know if I was getting that same error, though. This just wasn't launching this app. So the other ones are all working. All right, so inside the UI for iOS, is it not inside of iOS? Maybe it's under view controllers. We have our now playing view controller. Actually, it's inside the collection view. 
because yeah we haven't even started thinking about the collection view that's gonna be fun so I think my album art view I did it all as one so our album art view put everything to scale fit I put a border on it and then I put it with the album art width and this thing is set at 512 Oh, did I just have it set at a 512? Maybe I didn't do anything fancy on that one. And then I never reset it. All right, let's just set it. Hmm. OK. I know I did something so if you go smaller, you get like the all the pretty chrome shows up. I wish we could la launch it and show it. Hey, it launched that time, eventually just going really slow all right and now if we go in landscape we do this which didn't lay out right there we go so it does this and I don't like I kept my slider here I don't like that it should move to the bottom in my opinion but I just we'll do something fancy for that layout so it's locked at a at a max width and I put the little border around it because borders are needed it's actually bigger that way. I like it. OK. And then we want to center it in between. It's actually getting really close. This empty gap is that volume bar. So we're going to throw that in. So that'll help with this layout. It'll move everything up a little bit when we throw the volume bar there. And then we'll fix this. So let's just get this view in here. Let me stop talking and add a view. All right, so right now we have our now playing page. Oh, and also on the old one, this all gets repeated. So, and you notice it fades underneath. If you look as I scroll, you'll see underneath the blur, all of that changes too. So that's going to be fun to do. Maybe we'll switch it to collection view today, seeing how venturous I feel. And that, of course, is directly bound to the current playlist, which you can also view here. So, all right, now playing page. So inside of here, we've got a couple of different grids. We might start breaking this up. We have the mini player. Um, we have, here's our album artwork view. And then we have our blurred view. So size proportional, that should set out to the right size. Can we, the biggest thing we need to worry about enforcing is the size. We need to constrain the size so it's always square. So the view has to lay out and be the same for the, have the same height and width. So I wonder if we do our own layout inside. Oh, that's a tricky one. Let's just throw an image view in there and center it and see what it does. Oops. And then we'll just call this. So we'll just set this in here. And we are saying, whoa, 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 whoa. All right. We're not going to do any of these bounds because this stuff doesn't apply. Aspect fit. We want it to fit. And then let's just do vertical options equals center and horizontal options equals center. Let's see what this does. And then let's also go into, I still think we're going to do something, need to do something fancy, especially because we want that frame. So we might set a frame. Yeah, we might do something custom. I think we're going to have to. All right, so now when we set the album art, we have this, which does this, and it's also going to do album art view dot source equals source. Yeah, the collection view could be fun. 
And a lot of the code we put into here is going to then live inside the collection view. Okay, I'm going to move the old one off screen so I don't keep looking at it. Then we're not distracted by which one is here. All right. And we got nothing! Um, let's do... Let's change some flags. Do we even need the flags? Won't the grid do all that stuff for us? Let's remove those and see what it's going to do. And actually, oh, that height and all that might be wrong because I need it to be... I need to look at how the bottom stuff works, and it can't overlap that stuff. So where is this one? Oh, the spam calls. They never end. All right. Let's see how this... Did that load? Okay. Album art is there. So yes, it's not even centering correctly. So I need to just use this space, not center. And yeah. All right. So let's look how this grid lays out. Oops. So this one has a bottom of 300. So I need this to be at 56, and then I need... I need to have a bottom padding on this thing of 200. I mean 300. What if I do this? Got an idea. All right. Grid dot rows dot row definition. And we will now say, let's just close this off. We're going to do two of these. This one is going to have a height of 300, which is the same as that bottom grid. So this won't extend into that. Hey, that moved it up. And I wonder how that's going to look once we have, I wonder if that's enough or if it's going to need to move up more. Because we are going to throw, a, it's a lot of space on the top. So the 56 it's ignoring is this. So it's starting here. Why isn't it centered? Let's vertically center that thing then. If anyone has any other options idea any other options on how to do this, I'm always up for something. Cause this is a tricky layout. Tricky layout guys. If you have some ideas, let me know. That made it nice and tiny. <laughs> that is not what I wanted. Okay, and then let's do, if we're doing that one as center, let's set this one as... Oh, no, that's... I want it, yeah, vertical, then we'll do... Horizontal options equals center and expand. Actually, fill and expand. I want fill and expand. See what that does. Oh 
my chords. Getting all these layout things right is always the hardest part for me. Ah, that didn't do it. What did I do wrong? What if we say... Anyone have any ideas on this? Why would the vertical option center... I don't want to cent... Oh, let's just do center. Let's just see what that does. I just wanted it to center. And I may put this in a frame. Totally wrong, totally wrong. Anyone have any thoughts? Hmm. Yeah, I didn't want it. I so I didn't want it centered like that because it shrunk it. I wanted it like this, centered between. What if I just put it towards the top? So you think it's just the image options, the aspect fill? If I would have switched that, it'll fix it. Okay, let's try that last one I did. Do you have the top bar thing created yet? No, I don't have that. So that one is going to fade out. We just haven't done it yet. And so it'll look like this. You'll know how that one, in this one I just push it off screen. But I'm going to fade it out and fade that other one in, I think. I think that's how I'm going to do it. But I haven't done it yet. So that stuff, ignore. All right, so let's put this as aspect fill. And then we'll do center. Yeah, it shouldn't because that top bar is in a grid. I mean, it's in a separate thing. So we're dealing with this grid, which is offset by 56, so which is the height of that bar. So we shouldn't be having any issues with it. Shouldn't. <laughs> what is that? All right, I might just... So dumb. Let's... Hmm. All right, so if we do our own album center view thingy, which will center it, put our little fancy border around it. What if we just do that ourselves? All right, so let's do an album. All right, we are going to make this an... Absolute. No, the images are coming in square. That's not the problem. The problem is most things aren't most views aren't meant to be forced to be square. Album art's always square. So I want to square this thing, center it, make it to the width if possible, but never bigger than like 512. And if so, then center it. So What we can do on this is override layout children. All right. So for here, we'll just do um, frame equal. Wait, what's I can just can I just add a border to an image view? Um, 
Well, we technically have max size, just named wrong. But it's all right. What I'm doing here is something, and it doesn't even necessarily quite work the right way. But it's all right. We'll do. What's the best way to add a thin one pixel border to something in Xamarin Forms? Um. Oh, there's an outline color. Image has outline. Well, let's see if that exists. If so, that's going to be super easy. Now, what's this outline thing they're talking about? I don't know that property. Yeah, I might use a frame. That's what the first thing that came to my mind was. Oh, frame. Yeah, that's what they're saying is put in a frame. All right, so what we'll do is we'll do public. Um, why is my mind blanking on me right now? Why does that be public there? All right, so we're going to have the biggest thing is those frames are so ugly. Isn't it frame or is it box I'm thinking of? I think it's frame. Adds all the shadow, and we're just going to have to kill that thing and restart it. So for now, we'll just say... Okay, and then I'm just trying to think of the right way of doing this. Is it content or child? All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to do this all fancy-like. Okay, so we've got that. Move these up together. Now, so what we'll do here is we're just wrapping that so it'll be easy to set. Um, actually, that's not right. Image equals that. Make some valid C sharp syntax if I want those to go away. Perfect. So we'll set those. I'm saying I don't need those parentheses, but I thought I did. Hey, if that doesn't need them, perfect. All right. Perfect. Um, let's now go in and say border color. Is there an outline? Wait, what is that outline then? Oh, it's obsolete. Use border color instead. Okay. It's like I don't don't even know that. Equals color dot light gray. We'll just do that for right now. Can I, how do I set the border thickness? Um, anyone, thickness on this thing. Do you guys know how to do that? So I want this a really thin, like not noticeable. Come on. Everyone's complaining about this. I want this bezel nice and thin all the way around the frame. There are no properties for border thickness. I want this thing to have a really thin frame. Hmm. So they're using padding to deal with that. We'll have to see what that does. All right, so frame.
Wait, what? Oh. They're nesting frames, so the other one overlaps the other one? That's hideous. So the border. I want to put my image in here and have a really thin border. Yeah, that's... There's got to be something better. There's all, What's the box view do? Isn't there a box or something like that? Box view. What's this thing got on it? What I could do... is have the box view, have the color I want, and have it half a pixel wider. So I want this, I truly want it actually half a pixel, because I want it a real pixel, not a point. So I want it at a half. So yeah, I could do a box, a frame. All right. Background color equals color dot light gray. I think we'll go with that. And we'll say border color equals you are color dot transparent. We don't want one. All right. And now inside of here is so is this is it the padding that does the content inset? And is this the one that I'm thinking of? And if I do 0.5, we'll see if this works, guys. I think that might do it. And actually, I want to make it that right kind. I want to do that cached image view. Is that, isn't that what it was called? Cached image. All right, so we'll try this thingy out. Throw a cached image in there, set the image source. We'll need to do the layout stuff. So we're going to just do, we're going to lay it all out ourselves. So we'll say public. equals 512, is that what we were saying? All right, so far, um, s equals um, math.min with height, s equals math.min, we'll do max image size, s. All right, so now we've got the size of what we want to do. And we do min because we just way it clamps it. It's really what we're doing. So we want it to be between those values. We got that. Um, does, I don't know if there's a clamp inside a .NET, but basically that's all we're doing is we're clamping it, per se. All right, so we've now made it square, and we've made it stay a minimum of that size. So now we have our X and our Y for layout. Actually, how do I set these? How do I set their f Do I just do layout and then give it the bounds? I'm trying to remember how that thing works. All right, we're going to try it. All right, so we now have the width. Now what we want to say is, I wonder what those x's and y's are going to be. Let's, we're going to have to put some console that right lands in here, guys, because I have no idea. Let's do var rect equals new. All right, oh well, let's just say var new x equals um, width. 
minus x um, divided by 2. That will give us our half. Our new y equals um, height minus s divided by 2. Our rect equals new rect new x, new y, and we'll say ss. Done. All right, now if I tell this to lay out with this rect, is it going to listen? Now, I don't know if I need to take, if I need to pay attention to that offset. So let's just put this thing in there and see what happens. So instead of this, it's going to be, is it local or G music? G music, all right. Nope, wrong copy paste. All right. And we'll set those in here. Oh. All right. Down sample. What's there's like a Perfect. All right. Let's see if this does it, guys. This is a little scary. I haven't done this in a while. In a while. All right. Image source gets set. <laughs> I'm not even getting the layout, children. So what we want to do first, then, um, this dot vertical options equals equals layout options dot fill and expand. Ah. Uh. I've been playing on Windows a bit and I really can't wait until we get IntelliCode. The IntelliCode with like it's so nice. It would make this so much better. I border like lined like the old IntelliSense on old stuff rather than new Roslyn stuff. It always miss does things for me. I just got so used to the old style. All right, let's see. Oh, wait, why don't we have, why isn't this getting called? Oh, oh, it has no children. <laughs> it has no children, so it's never going to get called out. Oh, uh, VS for Mac's not forgotten about. We have a big team working on it, and there's lots of amazing things coming. I promise you that. And a lot of the work that we've been doing lately um, is going to make huge improvements. The problem is you, you don't get to see most of what's happening, and a lot of the things that we're doing right now, there's no immediate benefit. It's all for in the future. So right now, they're doing so much work to make it to where we're sharing a ton more code between Mac and Windows, like insane code share. So at that point, when people write these plugins, like IntelliCode, they'll be using the same APIs that are cross-platform, so it'll just work. So there's lots of things like that that are happening that you don't see. And so it's super exciting that we're doing these things, and it should make a big difference. Hey, that worked! Woohoo! I don't see my border, though. It might be there. It is there. It's half a pixel. I like it. I like it. Can't really see it on these ones either. But it's there. Half a pixel, guys. Half a pixel. Let's scroll over. Oh, way too much crazy scroll. Craziness. Craziness. All right, let's try it here. Yeah. Right? It's there. Super exciting. Um, Half a pixel. Well, it's actually one pixel. It's half a point. 
half a point, one pixel. And actually, anymore, it's a third? No. Yeah, for the new ones, because they're three pixels to one point. So, yeah. <laughs> a few show with ten pixels. <laughs> nope. All right. I actually do like my UIs to look nice. I just use Fuchsia a lot at the beginning. Okay, this is looking good. We have album art, and I like it, and it's got fanciness. Um, actually, what happens if we rotate this? I have no idea what this is going to look like rotated, guys. <laughs> We're going to need to do a special view. We'll do a landscape view. Oh, that's hilarious. Actually, what do I do for landscape here? I still, it's not swipeable. It's not a collection view anymore. I ditched the collection view. Yeah, so we're going to do a custom view when it's in landscape. Because we need a landscape view, but it's just not going to be this view. All right. Um, now that we've got that working, let's fight this top bar. Let's do this. Oh, wrong button, wrong button. Come back, come back. Okay. We may move that up still some more. All right. Sweeky made me do it, guys. You all heard her. She made me do this. Uh, mini player. So, yeah, well... Well, we're going to do orientation aware stuff, so I will be doing that. It's going to happen. It's not hard to do. It's pretty easy to do. Um, iOS didn't have orientation awareness forever, so it actually still doesn't. It has the some flags now for, like, should be wide or something fancy like that. So, okay. So if that's the 56 pixels, or no, that's the 56. It's not the mini player height. It's all the way to there. I'm just trying to make sense of this layout. All right, now let's remove the fuchsia there. We're going to put it one other place. Let's do it on our album art view. Yeah, it's just one of those things that, yeah, I don't know why it's never been built in. Master I see so I can write. Yeah, you can write some tests. I'm ready. I haven't done anything at all as far as accessibility stuff, so that'll be fun for you to help with. I am ready for unit tests. I get what you're saying. It'd be nice to just say, hey, for this page, swap them based on orientation. Maybe we'll just build that. I've got to build something like that anyway. I'm always down for enhancing Xamarin forms. Yeah, I'm always down for pull requests. Okay, that's up. Oh, oh, wow, I, I see what's going on. Do you guys see what's going on? That's why it's not centering right. See, make fun of my fuchsia all you want, but it is so freaking useful. All right. Let's see what's going on with that. Our slider. Let's find that slider. Where does the slider live? Nav bar. Slider right here. Okay, so this is the bottom controls. And the bottom controls go 300 up from the bottom, right? Isn't that what that one means? Yes, this is definitely on, G on, G on GitHub. Thanks. Thanks, Wiki. Um, all right, I think I want to commit some of this. No, we'll finish fixing this first. All right. So yes, it's on GitHub. Send pull requests. I would love it. Help me fix this thing. 
All right, so absolute layouts. This says goes 300 up from the bottom. So me doing this grid and putting that, I know that's a hack, but I would assume that would then put a 300 height on the bottom and move me up 300 pixels or 300 points, whatever they are. But it's not. I'm missing something. Um, what else is there? Grid nav bar. That so we have a nav bar and we have the mini player. So we already have the nav bar in place. Okay, so let's go to this one. Your background color is going to be green. No, it's not lime. We, not, we only use bright colors in this stream. So let's do that again. Let's see what that bottom grid is. Okay, so that one was definitely under under it. So my hacky 300 pixel padding is wrong. That is interesting. I wonder what it's off. Oh, let's do All right, we're going to do some investigation. And then So now that that's been overridden, let's say um, then then we'll also save padding row dot height equals h. I'm just curious if we can fake this even crazier. Actually, it'll be whatever its X is. It's that 56 pixels, guys. I wonder if that's it. It's the 56. It's not 300. It's 300 minus 56. I just realized what it is, but this... It's that X. When we're doing manual layout like this, I need to keep track of this 56 pixels that's doing it off. So it's only 244. Sometimes I remember math. Now my manual hack didn't do it. That's right. So let's do... Is it 300 or is it plus? Yeah, it's going to be plus. So it's 356. I think. Like I said, Booleans, man. I get them wrong all the time. Let's see what this does. So the green screen, is it worth it, guys? Do you like me setting it up? It was kind of 
It's not too hard to set up, but I pack it up because it takes up a big part of my office when it's set up. It was minus or plus. That's perfect. That really is perfect. All right, let's ditch some greens. And then the fuchsia. Yes, math. I can do it most of the time. I have to think. Offsets. I'm The problem is I don't lay out all my own code anymore. And I used to only lay out my own code. And so I was always deep into, oh, X, Y, offsets. But now that I use all the forms magical layouts so much, I get lazy and forget what I'm doing. All right, that's looking perfect. Oh, I had a color on that one. I want to bring that back. So it's not, so it looks different. That color was right. Why won't this scroll? I remember us debating getting this thing right. Yes, 80. 80 is what we decided on. It's making sure I wasn't ignoring my wife's text. She gets mad at me when I do that. I understand. It makes sense. All right. Um. All right. That is looking perfect. Yay. So let's do the top bar. I, I'm liking where we're going. All right. So let's commit this stuff. Oh, also, yeah, let's throw into our now playing screen, seeing it down there. We have our bottom. Goes grid for that, then it has the stack. Grid, stack, bottom bar. What's that bottom bar? No idea. And why am I rowing everything? That starts at row one instead of zero? Oh, no, it doesn't. So this is zero, one. Oh, right, okay. All right, so inside between the playback controls, I'm trying to think where we put this volume bar. It's underneath playback controls before the bottom bar. G music. What's it called? Volume view. Equals two, and now we need to Wait, did I miss one? Oh, that one's two. This one's three. And now this one's four. All right. So now our volume view should be in there. I think we just had a white background for it. There's nothing fancy. We might want to put like a default height on it. Oh, it's wheat, right. Height. Actually, I can tell you how big it is, um, unless I measure it. Volume view. I do just measure it. All right, so we'll do that again. When we do the, when we do the renderer, we'll let it measure and say what size it wants to be. Because those heights are different per plot or per OS version. We'll say 30 for now. Okay. And let's see how that puppy looks.
Okay, and so to do this, this is going to be tricky because we need to tie into that percent shown. Oh, that is way too big of a volume bar, but it'll work. Okay. Should we do the volume bar or the top bar? You guys can vote. Anyone? Anyone? Volume bar. Okay. Volume bar. Let's do it. You don't see the old app? It's it's not it does not exist in the old app. So Apple is lame and you do not see this in the simulator only. Actually, here let me grab a cable. So yeah, that's going to make this tricky since it doesn't even exist here. So let me get my phone. No, oh, go away, iTunes. I can't wait for iTunes to never show up again. Soon. Soon. All right, so quick time. File. New recording. So you can see it. Oh, mine's on. Oh, it's on system capture. So my volume view, since I'm on capture, it doesn't even show it to you. See how they do all kinds of magic? That's so weird. I can't go to non-system capture. Actually, maybe I can. No, I can't. I can't even show you what it's supposed to look like. I can screenshot it. One sec. All right. Screenshot. Airdrop. Come on, airdrop to myself. All right, it's coming. It's here. It came. I love being able to like, just airdrop to my computer. All right. So, yes. It's very tricky that they do that for you. All right. So, this won't take long. This will be quick. This one's quick. And then for these, I can just do view renderer. Yeah, we'll just do that. View renderer and public MP volume view. We'll call it that. Ah, no. All right. Catch up, catch up. All right, so is this just a UI view or is it a view controller? I can't remember. Oh, nope, it's just a view. Okay. Equals new MP volume view. Override. What's the. There's something to get the size. What is going on? Okay, I'm going to close this and reopen it. Ah ha ha. 
Now my autocomplete's catching up. Oh, I don't have Keycaster on. Oh, come on. Gotta catch it. There we go. All right. So now override. There's something about size. Get desired size. All right. So for this, um, we will say... All right, so now what we'll do is equals math.min uh do we want to do the min or do we want to do the max? We want to do the max. No, we'll just do min. Min's right. Well, I'm just wondering I don't think it's a min. I think I want clamp because I want it as big as possible. All right, so so we'll do this since we'll say if with constraint is hey thanks for the follow calls uh 90 all right how do i do this one what's the right way so i need to say if the with constraint i'm just trying to do the math again booleans always these booleans so i want to say if it is greater than with constraint No, I don't think that's right. I think I'm just going to do, let's just do the min. Let's just return the min and see what happens. Return, um, new size request. Re oh, I have to return back a request and a minimum. Do I just say the width request and then set the minimum as that size? Let's just do it. All right. Let's just see if that'll do it. All right. Um, I think that's it. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. One more thing after that. Um, override, layout, subviews. Oops, no, no. And then here we'll just say MP volume view dot. Oh, come on, see? Frame equals bounds. All right, that should be it. We should now have an iOS MP volume view. We'll need to do something completely different on Android, and so I'm not ready to tackle that yet. Um, but yeah, and Mac needs something very different too. This is an iOS only API. Granted, we haven't built Mac yet, but still. All right. But notice it's now clear. So that did inject itself, and it did make itself a decent height. Now I kind of want to run it on my phone. All right. I'm going to commit that and start it running on my phone while we fight tackle how to do the next part. All right. 
Well, that's going. Quit, quit time. Quit the pre preview. Let's jump over commit. Um, and we still might need to tweak that some once I put it on device. I don't know why they don't do the volume view on the simulator. It's kind of dumb. I don't know. All right, so that's pushed up. You guys have it. Go fix my mistakes. And let's move on. All right, let's do this top bar. All right, so on the top bar. Hmm. What we need to do. I might be. Let me look at this root view again. On iOS, the now playing page is the master. It's nested on Android. Oh, no, 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 it's the master. OK, it's always the master. We're good then. All right, so let's convert to a full property. I like it. I don't like them all separated, though. I like them all together. And private's ugly. Enter. Enter, enter. All right. Isn't that what it's called? Now playing page. What we're going to do, I think that's what I want to do. So we only do that cast once. And it doesn't have to look it up all the time. Hey, it's deploying to my phone. And it's launching. It's launching. Oh, I'm not logged in, though. It's all right. I have one password, so it makes logging in super simple. I'm supposed to. And of course, it's not offering it to me. I hate these login pages. It will for the password part. Almost done. Oop, I spelled my name totally wrong. Oh, that's funny. Oh, that is awesome. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, I've got to... We're going to look at this. This is the craziest bug I've ever seen. It's so cool. I like when I find bugs on iOS. All right. So look at this. It's letting me peek through to my welcome page. Is that not crazy? I'm trying to like move to the right text. I don't know. I just found that really funny. All right, I'm just going to have to retype a lot more because I can't zoom. Yeah, that's like the weirdest bug I've ever seen. All right, now it's letting me use my one pass. All right, logging in. Yeah, that was really trippy. Log in. All right, I don't know if it's going or not. My login, the welcome page didn't go away. Do we not dismiss the, oh no, it just went away. It was just really slow. 
Okay. Yay, it's on. It's working. Album artwork all downloading. What was I checking? I was going to check something. I have a volume view. I have a volume view. It's not styled yet, but I have one. So we'll deal with styling that later. But it's there. Oh, I don't have the... Oh. So the AirPlay icon is white, and so it's not visible, and it's too far to the right. So I'm going to need to inset that some, but I'm still happy with that. It's looking really good. All right. So that's pushed. That's working. Let's see if we can hack and get this thing working. Let's do this update percent. What's complaining? Why do I have a red squiggle there? All right. Okay, what is wrong? Let me build. All right, I'm just going to close it. Something's off. Roslyn's confused. Much better. Okay, so we have that. Equals. And it wants me to do epsilon. All right. We've got that, and then we'll say update percent. And now what we'll do is on our now playing page, I know this is kind of hard coded, but it's 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 what it's for. It's only for this thing. I could make it an interface, but I don't care. What is up with Windows? Close all. Save. All right. Update. So now, if we jump over to our slide up page again, perfect. I keep doing Control S. I like I said I've been playing on Windows machine and getting I get those. My hands, they switch. All right. So, how about now to do this, like where we fade this thing in and out? So, we need to do a certain percent. So, when it's above, so the top of our visibility, we need to think of the ranges. So, we're going to do our transition range at let's just say like 80 80 to 90 so it transitions before it's all the way up and it, and it doesn't transition till it's almost up in case we choose to do that halfway cut off so yeah what we'll do is we'll say equals 1f so we'll say it's visible. Spilling water all over myself. All right. Now we'll say if percent is greater than 0.8. And we're going to want this to phase. I don't think I'm going to go as far as putting an ease in because I don't care that much. And we'll do... So if it's greater than 80, we're going to do it just on that 10% range, 80 to 90. So what we'll do, we will do percent um, RP equals percent or 0.9 F minus minus percent times 10 
Is that right? Yeah, that's what I want to do. Because that will now make it out of between that 10% of 90 or 80 to 90. And then we'll just clamp it to where visible equals p. I don't know. Math.min 1fp, so that way it won't go over. And now what we'll say is we will say, what do we call those things? We have two bars. We have our nav bar. He knew I wanted fuchsia. All right, so we'll say our nav bar dot um can't I can't I add a fade to these things? Opacity. There we go. Um, visible. Okay, and now what we'll do is mini player dot opacity equals one f minus visibility. All right, so it's opposite. Let's see if this works. If my math is good, which it's always good, this should work. That is like the best quote for programming. It doesn't get any better than that. Just not possible. Oh, OK. So we need to make sure we set the state sooner. OK. Whoa. Oh, it toggles. Okay, that does not go smooth at all. Okay, so then when this thing is first set up, so we're going to want to do update visible 0f. Let's run that again, so that way it'll start right, so we won't start with the pink. Run, run, run. Oh, that didn't work. Did I do it backwards? All right, so this is... For 11, 10. Uh, so probably around like 6 is where I want to start the fade. And that to not... Oh, it's just doing it as a... It's all right. We'll figure out what's going on there. And I want it gone by 8. Nine, so like five to eight. All right. All right, so we know what these percents are. So if we're going to say if it's greater than 0.5, instead of doing this times 10, I think that's where I've got it off. What we'll do. We'll leave it at the 9. So we need to minus. Oh, I know what the problem is. All right, p equals. That's not right. So what we need to do is percent minus point. 5f. So actually, let's just do some variables. 
const min equals 0.5f const float max equals all right whoa whoa what i do what i do All right. Yeah, so this is what the actual percent is. You know, that's what the starting is. So I want to know in the max range, equals max minus min. No need to do that math every time. Not that it's expensive math, but still. All right. So now that we have the percent, we can say um, percent equals oh no, so we'll say p equals um, p divided by max range. And then the visible, that should be right. Let's see what that does. Oh, and this needs to be... Let's do that. Bill there, Bill there. Okay. I've never seen that. I wonder if I had some invisible crazy character. I don't know. All right. Let's fix this fading. All right. Now about, oh, it's working. It's working. I like it. It's not big enough. It needs to be bigger. And... <laughs> you like that? Yeah. That's the right effect. That's what I wanted. I need to fix... Let's fix that, because that's driving me nuts. Um, Slide up. Thanks, I'm glad you like that. I thought it worked out well. I like it. And it should just work on, I, on Android, too. We can go run Android. Actually, while I fix that, let's run it on Android. Should work. Haven't tested. All right, so let's go look at our slide up renderer. I know the reason it's letting me slide it up too far. That was it right there. So I used to let you go higher because I'd let that overhang go off the screen, whereas I don't do that on this version. Come on, Android. Why do you, I don't want to swipe up? Let's see how it looks here. Oh, I need to fix the blurs on this. 
So yes, if anyone's looking for a pool request, they can fix and get rid of the blue tint. Or purple tint? I think it's blue. The blue tint on this. It's kind of ugly. I don't like it. This page really is coming along nice. We just now need to fix that top bar, make sure it's big enough. And then, yeah, we'll just make it bigger. And then we're going to bottom dock those close controls. And also add the modal pop-up for the now playing screen. Or not now playing, the current. Oh, i not logged in. Skip. We don't care. I've got to fix this now. But this screen is so horrible on Android. Why can't I click? And click the login, but I can't click skip. Urgh. I know, I hate emulators. All right, we're going to switch emulators. No, stop. What's this one? I have too many. Uh, let's see what this one does. All right, I think I fixed iOS too. Hey, this one looks bigger, but it's going to take forever to boot, isn't it? I don't have Visor or whatever set up. Is this phone even alive? No, it's dead. Hey, that booted okay, though. Yes, my emulators suck. They're just mine. Everyone else's has amazing emulators. It's just my problem, right? <laughs> I should let you remote in and fix my fix my simulator emulator sometime, Sweeky. We'll do a Teams meeting, and you can control it and fix them all. I just don't care enough. I use devices for my local dev. I'm only using this for you guys. Just for you guys. Wait, why are the color... Okay, that did... F I don't know what that's doing. Did I not hook those in? All right, didn't hook them in. Actually, let's verify something else. That does look like old code. That's really old code, right? Because it doesn't look like that. I don't have any of that green. You're right. Maybe we'll just clean and rebuild Android. Um, slide up. Um, oh, I might not have done the percent visible on this yet, though. I don't feel like building that up then right now. Yeah, I had blurs. I added blurs. And we have no album artwork. That's old code somehow. So we'll clean. Ooh, not unload. Yeah, we'll just unload it. But I'm also. Trying to remember where that's at. Oh, I'm in iOS, Android. Um, hey, hey, that's we're now at least getting the first one. Yeah, it was, oh, that's and iOS because I unloaded. Oh, well. No, I'm not going to XDF right now. I've got, I've got codes. I've got codes. All right. 
iOS. Um, now playing player now fades. So on this behavior, let's look at the renderer. Maybe there's something we can hook into really easy on this. Where do I set up the behavior? Is there something for when it changes? So on I don't know. I'm going to have to look at that. Let's not worry about Android right now. It did go update, though. So, oh, I don't know. We'll find out. Let's run it to make sure we're under the new code now. But I might not have built all the fancy stuff yet for that percent. But all we have to do is set that value of the percent shown, and then the rest of it's all forms. So just have to fix that one custom renderer. Yeah, that looks really good on iOS. We should fix this blue color. I like it. Let's finish out this. Let's finish that up. I really like that. OK, just thinking through while well, that builds on Android how to do this layout. So we're probably going to want to offset this thing. There's a way on, I only want to offset it on iPhone X or any of the ones with a notch. Is there a simple way in forms to decide if it has the notch? Forms detect. Um. We might be doing something funky. Detect that. So I don't always want to use the safe a safe area. Oh, okay. So they're saying in order to count. Oh, okay. So these guys are saying I can use an effect. Let's read through this because this might be what I want. Oh, yeah. There's Android with our beautiful purple tint. And artwork's there. The volume view's there. See, we're not going to want to offset anything on Android. Because we're just going to put our buttons there and we're going to be good. That screen's going to need a little love on some Android. That just has to do with our offsets for this. Okay, 
So yeah, Android's working now. How's our blurs? Except that purple tint is killing me. Killing me. Alright, closing the emulator. Shut that puppy down. Get some memory back. Alright. So let's look at that doc page I just found from the Xamarin Help. Okay, so what they're doing in order to, to go down the native and manually apply the insets. You know, I don't know if I want to go to it to that extent. All right, I have an idea. Have an idea. And I can't use a safe area inset because I want, when it's down here, it needs to go all the way to the top. It's only that nav bar that needs offset. Tricky, tricky, guys. Tricky, tricky. Fighting the weird stuff now. All right, so we have an app. I don't know if we have a window yet. Maybe we have a window at this point. Or that's going to get set up by the forms app delegates going to set up the window stuff. Override. Let's override a uh, did. Got to be something in here. Um, let's put some breakpoints on here. See where this thing goes. If I can't, if I remember correctly, on activated will fire every time once it's done. If not, there's the enter foreground, but that only happens when you leave and come back. All right, unactivated is what... That's too late. That's too late. All right, what we'll do... All right, so at this point, we should now have a window. So if we go... Dot key... Am I supporting anything before iOS 11? What do you guys think? I don't think I need to. We're on to iOS 13 already. That's too old. So we're just going to assume we're just making a minimum of iOS 11. Um, so we're going to use a little bit of what they're saying. Wait, we're going to go. UI window. Where's it? App. That way. App.keyWindow.safe inset area. All right. Um, oh no, it's a property. All right, perfect. So what we'll do, let's set something on our styles. Go to declaration. Is that what I want to do? I'm wondering if my styles were the right place that makes sense to do this. What I need to do is set something.
Actually, let's do this. We have sound notification in. Actually, let's copy a different one. I know this is an iOS specific API, but we're doing it anyway. So we're going to call this. I wonder if I should send everything. Because right now they give you. This gives us UI edge insets, which gives us a left and right. I can't remember. Been a while since I wrote this code. Bottom, top, left, right, which is the same as what's the closest thing in forms to that? That would be what does padding use? Those are called something. It's the same as the padding class, which isn't called padding. It's called I don't know. Let's go check. Actually, I just did it on my artist page, in my album art view page. Thickness. Let's use a thickness. It has the right properties. It's duck typing, guys. Oops. Perfect. All right. So now I will, on my now playing page, um, what is that thing called? That is called notification. Share dot, um, So my notification manager will automatically make sure all these fire on the main thread. So I don't even have to worry about that. I can just do it right there on it. Close that, save. Let's go, you can go style. We're not doing this here. So don't save. We will, um, what's that thing called, nav it. This thing is called the nav bar. Actually, for now, we'll just say why am I not getting autocomplete? E dot. All right, so we're going to put a breakpoint here. And we hooked into that app delegate. This is going to go. What am I calling that thing? It is. Um, Uh, I don't know why all my autocomplete died. Let's just close all windows. Let's get some autocomplete back. Close all others. We're just going to close them all. Let's do them all. App delegate. Get back to where we were at. I called the right thing, right? So inside of managers, I 
This is killing me. Oh, is it like protect or internal? Fixed. Inset dot, um, come on, autocomplete. I can't type APIs without autocomplete. Can't do it. Not when I don't know them. Inset. <laughs> All right, let's hope that worked. It looks like it did. Oop, wrong. Dang it. Using the wrong copy and paste command controls. Back on Windows mode. All right. Let's run this. Let's see what it does. See if it actually fires. And we could hook into that thing changing too. All right. And this will be fine because it always starts gone. That's looking good. Okay, yeah, that's looking right. Okay, a couple of those properties don't make sense for what we're doing with it. All right, so now what we need to do is inside of our now playing, we are going to go to our nav bar. Absolute layout bounds. Uh, I think for do these you go, this is going to be so painful without IntelliSense. Yeah. I think this will show how to do it. All right, there we go. Hey, thanks for the follow, Stanovich. Stanovich. Sorry, Vich, not Witch. All right, so we're going to go nav bar, and this is going to be the rectangles be E dot left. Oh, no, sorry. So we'll say thickness dot left, right? Because this takes in x, y. Um, dot um, top. And then the width is going to be 1. And the height was 64. I don't know if this is going to work, guys. Trying something crazy. Only one way to find out, and I might need to close the solution, reopen it, and hope my Visual Studio plays along. If not, I might just end, because I don't feel like restarting right now. <gasps> hey, that's right! The pink bar! It's where it should be! That looks perfect! I wonder if I want to offset this column a little bit. Yeah, thanks. I liked it better when it was fading over the top of the other one. 
but it's fine. It was a cooler effect when they when they were the same. We could adjust that. Oh, oh no, that'll look funny if it was to fade and slide. Because that looks ugly. I don't know. Thoughts, guys? How should I fix that animation? I'm debating what if we slide this pink bar in to where it comes in from the top at the same time that starts fading out and it fades in as it goes. I think that'll look best. All right, we're going to move it. We're going to go crazy on this. All right, so here what we're going to do is we're just going to, and actually let me, I just want to see one more thing. That did go the full width, right? Yeah, that's right. All right, let's fix it. So what we're going to do is these things are a double. Actually, we're just going to save this thickness. I know we'll do double left. Uh, oh, no, not left. Top padding. Okay. Okay. Um, what we'll do is we'll put, there we'll do void update nav play. Bar. Now we'll leave here. It makes sense where we're at. All right. So what we'll do now... Okay, better. That's perfect. Now what we'll do is var... Um, Instead of that, we'll do nav and then var top padding equals nav top padding. Can't believe I can spell these right without having IntelliSense. I think I got this. All right. So what we'll do. The end position is what it'll be at at 100. And it needs to start out as negative the height. So we need to tween between negative 64. Let's just start with this. Um, const float. Um, All right, so to tween between these, having all the game um, things are so useful right now. Not having all these and doing all the math myself is fun. All right, so it needs to move between negative the bar height. Oh, it's not going to clip. Let's make this thing clip. Oh, I can't have IntelliSense. There's something about clipping. Oh, maybe I already have clip to bounds working. 
It must be because, okay, I think we're fine. I think we are clipping. We're just going to assume we're clipping already. If not, we'll enable that. All right. So we need to do the same thing we did here. But instead of just being a float, we need to adjust this percent. All right, so the range is var range equals equals top padding minus um, minus. Although that we'll just add it because there's no point in doing that. Plus nav bar height. Alright, so what this is going to do is we're going to say this is how far we have to travel. And we're going to start at negative that. So now percent equals um, nav visible percent times range. All right, because that's how far we've tra that's how far we've traveled, and now bar y equals nav bar height times negative one or just negative. We can just put a negative in front of that, all right? Can't you just do that? I don't know if that's right. I can't remember if that syntax works. So we'll say negative that plus traveled. And now this is going to be y. I think that'll work. Anyone have any objections? Anyone have anything to fix? I think that's right. And now whenever this thickness changes, we will first nav left Padding equals thickness. And let's do this again for right. Oh, top. All right. I think that's right. I really, really do. Oh, semicolon. Semicolon. All right. Let's run this. Don't know what else to try. We got this. All right, so this should do an animate down and in as it fades in. And the other one's going to fade out. That's what it should do. If my maths are correct. Uh, do I like that? I don't know. It's not clipping. It's not clipping. We'll clip. The clipping, I think, is the key to that. Is this where the clipping is? So there's something on the layout, layout that is clipped to bounds. So we'll, this content, we'll just do it in here. And hey, <laughs> this one's actually giving me autocomplete, so that's better. This is such a weird hybrid page between all the XAML and the C-sharp. Do what makes sense. OK. It fades in, and it slides into place. That's perfect. That's way nicer looking. 
What do you guys think? You guys like that more? I should slide the other one out. While that slides out, the other one should slide up. What do you guys think? Double animate? All right, we're going to do it. We're going to slide that one up. Let's just see how it looks. We can always remove animations. All right. And so that one is just the top, the mini player. And we're just going to do the same... A float mini bar height equals 56F. All right. This one's going to be easier, though, because we don't have any of that offset stuff. We just have to move it up based on its percent visible to negative its height. So it's going to be really easy. We're just going to do it in one line. And now... Mini player. Oop. I just want to make sure I get all those flags right. So this one goes zero, zero, one, the height. Zero. And now this one is just going to be. Um, oh, it's negative percent, though. So. 1F minus okay so that's its percent visible times wait wait, wait. I'm trying to do this right all right we're gonna do it outside of this because now my math is getting confusing so far, we'll do mini player y equals negative mini bar height. All right. And now we can just say, ah, uh, equals, no, we're, so we're going to do times equals. I'm just trying to think. Plus equals mini bar height times um, 1F minus this. I think that's right. Correct me, please, someone, if you see see math errors. But I think that's right. Doing some crazy funky animations. I might be able to do more. This is working quite nice. I was worried about how hard this would be to do. I might be able to do my half bar. I don't know. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Is it moving too, is it doing it too soon? Let's do it at seven. Last quarter percent. Glad I made those variables. All right, let's check this animation out now. <laughs> we should add buttons instead of a pink bar. Okay, what's it look like? What's the consensus, guys?
Do you have another ID, Squeaky? So they, you like the double animation? And we like that it, I like that it goes vertically. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to kill the fuchsia. Well, let's add some buttons in there. Let's add the right buttons in there. And I need to make sure that once we have buttons, oh, the buttons are off screen, so we can't click on them. That's another thing with the animation is we can't click on them because they're not there. All right. So we need two buttons. If we look at the old one. All right. So let's add these two circle buttons in there. Do we have, how am I going to do a circle button? The reason I do that is based on artwork. There's times on the smaller phones where this button is actually on top. I need to try this on a small phone. Because there's times when that's supposed to overlap. I wonder if this offset's going to work. I don't know. We'll have to test it. All right. Either way, our artwork is going to auto scale and do fancy stuff, so we'll be fine there. Oh, and it's in the dark. I still want those light. If you're in dark modes, you can see those buttons nice and clear. All right. So, what we're going to do. Uh, I'm trying to think the right way to do those buttons. Um, all right, close the wrong page. So we need to do this now playing bar inside of here. All right, so what we'll do is Let's do, do I want it to keep it a grid? I'm trying to think if it should be a grid or if I should do, grid's fine. All right, so let's add a, I don't know if I, I'm just trying to think if I have the right control. Let's just throw a normal button in there right now. Text equals, um. Close. Oops. And then playlist. And now this one is going to be um, horizontal options equals start. And we're going to put this one as end. And actually, this might be all I need. Throw some padding on this grid so it insets them everything appropriately. Oh, I didn't ditch Fuchsia. We'll get there. We'll get there. If this is right, I might go build those buttons. We might be making it. We'll just make a custom control. Let's go build a custom control. Yay, custom controls. All right. And actually, I might be able to just do them here. I'm going to try this, guys. We might not even need one. We're going to try something funky. And if so, I can just do this via style. Um, no, I, to make them circular, that might not work. So I need to force. And these need to be that image. All right, now we're going to do a custom control. It'll be easier. Okay. Custom control. Let's go to views. I need a controls folder. I'm getting too many of these things. Then we'll do a different commit where we move them all into this. Okay, so we're going to add a new C sharp control. This one's going to be 
Circle image button. And what we will do, we're going to just make this a, we're going to make it a frame. I hate the frame, but we're doing it. All right, frame. And the frame is going to, um, can I use one of my other, image button things. No, I'm not going to be able to. All right, and I didn't bind the image source, did I? OK, we're going to want to do binding for the image source. All right, so public. Do that for now. We'll do public event. Is it just do I just do event handler? What's the buttons thing? Can't remember what a button has on it by default. So var button equals new button. And clicked is, so it's clicked I want. All right, we've got that, we've got this. All right, so now for our frame, we're going to want to clean this puppy up because it's going to be ugly by default. Um, Shadow, false. Oh, and I don't, oh, and no, I'm not going to, I don't need a border on these ones. Equals color dot transparent. We will just say background color. Actually, we're just going to leave it as it is for now. All right, so we've got that. We've got this. What we need to do now, though, is override. I might need to do a custom layout, though. Because I want to change the radius, but I want to force it to match. I don't think it frames what I want. I think I'm going to do it like the absolute layout again. And then we'll put a frame in there. So, and then image, okay, and then content equals image, which equals new image. Okay. We need to deal with the binding. We'll override layout children. Again, we're going to center this. Actually, we just need this. This code is exactly what we need. except no max height. That's what we need. Does that look right to everybody? I think that's right. All right. I hate writing binding code. Actually, it's just called source on the images, so maybe we'll. Let's 
set image. Almost done. All right, so it's just going to call set image whenever those change. We also almost done. Done. All right. So that image source, when it gets set, we will say, oh, and now let's rename this. Oops, not find. We're going to rename this. Oh, come on. That's not what I wanted. What did my undo is not working? Amazing. <laughs> Let's just close that page. I don't know what else to say. Are you kidding me? It is time to restart Visual Studio. We're just going to leave them with the mismatch for right now. So now we'll do image dot source equals. All right, perfect. Now I need to finish setting up the frame. All right, we are going to close the solution and just reopen it and see if it's going to behave. Okay. Come on. All right, I need to restart it. Last time I restarted Visual Studio. Oh, my Google backup stuff's doing its nonsense again. Wasting CPUs the whole time. I can pick copy and paste now. So that's a big improvement. So what I want to know is if I can override the background. All right, well, let's just see if this thing will work because I don't want to restart. Um, we'll fix the background color. We'll just hard code the background color for now and do it to do to come back in and clean it up. So I want to go into views. Now playing. We're going to grab this color. This one. We're going to go to our control. And we're just going to hard code it for now. Equals color dot from hex. You're going to start an app for the first time. I have an interface in Photoshop. Um, do I have to build the front end with code as if it were HTML and CCS? Well, if you're going to use Xamarin the way I'm doing it, starting out, most people use um, most people use XAML. 
I do a combination of both XAML and C Sharp. So you'll notice that some of it, a lot of it's in the XAML, which is really, really easy to prototype with and you can get up and going. If you're doing some of the really complicated stuff, most of my screens use XAML. This screen is crazy. Um, I don't know if you've been watching, but it does fancy stuff like animations and the different layers. This thing is crazy. You can't, I have to add code in to make it do fanciness. So I can't do it all without. Um, if you're trying to build like a web app, then yeah, do HTML and CSS or however you want. But I'm doing a native app using Xamarin and Xamarin Forms, so I'm using XAML and C Sharp. But yeah. So it depends on what you're trying to build and what your end goal is. All right, so I've got that. Now I also need to, We now that we have this, I need to say frame dot corner radius. Is it corner radius? I can't code without autocomplete. Equals um, S. So that way we're going to perfectly round it each time. So I am using Visual Studio and Xamarin. And here, I can do, let me get you a link. And you can do this on Windows or a Mac. I'm doing it on a Mac right now. But that's the program that I'm using to build these. And inside of the Getting Started, there's like amazing Getting Started documentation um, to get you going and to get, I don't know if our Getting Started is linked from right there. But yeah. There's some great stuff. Xamarin University, we got rid of, we have a bunch of, the Xamarin University guys, they're doing a bunch of stuff on uh, on Twitch and YouTube as well to go watch a bunch of videos from them, but they have a lot of really good stuff. And I'm using Xamarin Forms. So Xamarin Forms lets you do iOS and Android at the same time while sharing a ton of code. All right, so let's finish what I was doing here with the XAML. So now that I have those two buttons, my buttons, they're gone. They're gone. All right. So um, all right. So we're going to throw two of these buttons in there that we just created, and we're going to say image source equals actually what is the it's a text font thing how do i do the text fonts um let me go back to my custom oh there's a font image source thing isn't there text fonts yes um if you're learning swift right now so you can do ios dev yeah i'm doing c sharp to do ios this is c sharp on ios and android 100% C Sharp and XAML, but yes. So check out Xamarin. It lets you do, let's use your existing skill set. You still need to learn iOS APIs or Xamarin Forms APIs. You can't just write a WinForms app and run it. So you still need to learn those APIs, but you can do it in C Sharp instead of Swift. Very, very powerful. All right. Uh, I'm going to go back to my now playing page thingamabobber. And I had those image sources. I had those saved somewhere, didn't I? Yeah, I've been doing it since 2010 or 2011 using Xamarin. It's amazing. I've always liked it. So I can bind to the static resource of this thing, right? I think that's what I want to do. So font image source, I need my close. Yeah, the font, the text font thingy. 
And I have no IntelliSense. This is killing me. There is a close. All right, so. I'm not sure what size we want to make this. Um, let's go with like 20, 25. All right. I think that's what we want. So we have our clothes. And actually, I might... I did not mean to put that there. I meant to hit down. Enter. All right. So close button. And now this one is... Oh, I could try that. Yeah. All right. Instead of the close button, I want the current playlist. And I think that just uses the same playlist icon. Yeah. Which the playlist icon's totally broken. I may figure out how to make it work in fonts. And I'm probably going to... I like putting this stuff into these nested classes like this just to keep them organized so I don't see all my images everywhere. So you'll notice right now my images are inside the Now Playing screen. So it's really nice and easy to type these things out. And, you know, I'm going to do, this one was, I need to do horizontal. equals uh, my horizontal options on this one is start. All right, and now here I want to put padding equals like five. See how that looks. At least on the left and the right I want five. We'll just see how that looks. I think that'll be good. Oops, we're not there. I'm going to give this a name. X name, this one is going to be nav um, close button. Um, bum -ba -dum. Now I set all these things up. We can just go into our nav bar. <laughs> I have no IntelliSense. Okay, I'm going to try what you said, Sweeky. Preferences. It's going to require a restart, isn't it? I bet it will. Oh. Okay, now let's re-enable it. Good call, Sweeky. Good call. All right, let's see if it works now. So helpful. <laughs> no, the new editor's just borked. You know, we're going back to the old editor for now. I like the new one a lot, but until I restart Visual Studio, Yeah, that kind of does look like a pirate. I think it's a pirate. Must be a pirate. What's it say? I don't know. You made a pirate. Is it giving me right IntelliSense anyway, though? All right, nav close button dot image source equals images dot now playing screen dot nav bar dot close button <laughs> you're just now finding all the emojis 
I am allowed to make my own emojis, but I definitely need to um, I need to find like a good emoji artist and pay them to make some emojis. But I don't even know what to tell them to make. So that's part of my problem. Yeah. Okay then. So I'll take care of the font because I'm Xamarin is the whole shebang. It lets you do it all in C sharp and .NET. It's my preference. Um, if you want to do it in, if you want to do native apps, you're gonna to need to do like Swift and Java. So yeah. Hey Ryan Roberts, Cubs lover, how are you doing? All right. All right, now we just need to do the... Tomorrow you start Fundamentals of Coding. That's amazing. Um, exciting. Well, um, how are you doing? Are you doing like a boot camp? Or are you just um, going to college? How are you going for it? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Crash. Just YouTubing and Google. That's exciting. That's how I learned. I am completely self-taught. So, exciting. <laughs> C++ is a rough place to start. Um, I'm doing a lot of stuff on my spare time with low-level graphics and like OpenGL and trying to learn Vulkan and stuff. And C++ is rough. And I'm not saying don't, but you might want to start with a higher level language if you want that C style. Maybe look at like Rust. Rust is a lot safer. C++, you have to deal with memory. And learning memory is like, blah. It is, it is rough. So, yeah, if you're doing it for college, you got to learn it. It's, it's fun. I'm doing a lot in it right now, and I'm just always like, oh, is it a pointer? What am I touching? It's, it's, it's fun. All right, so I have a crash inside my constructor. Let's see what's going on here. What did I do wrong? Hey, thanks for the follow, Blue Roy TV. The initializer type for circle image button. What did I do wrong? Yeah, you turned out great, Sweeky. You're amazing, but I I'm not good at C C plus plus. So if you've got that, I'm I'm proud of you. Of course, I have faith in you guys. You can learn. The thing is, though, you can really do any of this stuff if you put your mind to it. Um, I didn't start coding until I was 20. I got my first coding job at 24, I think. And at that point, I had built one WinForms app. I had been doing. See, I've been doing like some SQL stuff since my twenty early twenties. I learned SQL at like twenty one, I think. I think it's when I learned SQL is in twenty uh, twenty one, and I did some Flash stuff in twenty one. But I built my first WinForms app, yeah, at twenty four, and got a job, and yeah, now I work at Microsoft and write all kinds of crazy stuff. So yeah, and that's like with zero college, zero. So Google back then. No YouTube videos. No one did YouTube videos. It was all Google and what I could find. And Stack Overflow was my best friend. All right, let's figure out what's crashing this. That should not be crashing. Oh, it must be something with this. Did I do this stuff wrong? You know what? I'm not binding. Value. Um, but Stack Overflow, okay, is when you have too much data. Yeah, I mean, I can't promise and tell you once you get through that, you'll be golden because I have no clue myself. But yeah, good luck. I think you got it. I mean, it's just, it's really, if you're motivated, you can learn anything you want. That's the key, though, is being motivated enough to learn it and want to. 
Um, when I've sat down and desired to tackle really ridiculous, <laughs> that's hilarious. I forgot to, anyone know my bug? Anyone guess the bug? I forgot to kill shadows. So whiteboarding is rough, because whiteboarding is only if you really know the APIs and things. I, you code with IntelliSense. You have things that help you. So I actually hate coding interviewing that way, and I disagree on people doing that. Shadow equals um, false. Did anyone know? Yeah, I work at Microsoft from home. I am the only Microsoft employee in Alaska. Even crazier. All right, so can anyone guess the rounded corner of that bug before I fix it? Let's kill fuchsia. You'll notice that those weren't circles. Uh, kill the fuchsia. And I've been doing Xamarin stuff for, yeah, a long time, since 2011. So, all right, kill that. We don't need that anymore. All right, I'm just going to fix the bug. The bug is easy. When you're setting a corner radius, oh, I'm on the wrong page. When you're setting the corner radius, you divide by two. And actually, I might not even have to cast if I do this 2.0. No, I'm still going to have to cast then. Well, let's do that. Now these are going to be circles. Pretty circles. I think it'll look right. Yeah, it's amazing what you can learn when you put your put your mind to it. My son, my eight-year-old, is starting to learn programming this summer, so I'm really excited. You know, I, <laughs> I don't feel like doing the binding. I see no point. <gasps> wow, those are way too big, though. But that looks right. Woohoo! I want to make that image bigger. That's looking right. Yeah, I just never got through college. I couldn't afford it, and... I am the worst at doing monotonous ta tasks, so I like programming, because if it's really too monotonous, I can automate it. And so I hated math. I actually failed math classes in high school and stuff, or even younger. Middle school, I was the worst. I failed science and math, which were my favorite subjects, because once I got it, I hated doing it again and again and again just to do it. There was no challenge, so college just wasn't for me. It's oh that Okay, how do we like this animation now? Do you guys vote? Do you guys like the double animation? The one bar slides up and the other one slides down and fades in? I need to fix those circle images. The old one didn't have to do those fades. There was no need because the other bar just stayed there. I kind of like the fading. I like the animation more than it popping off the screen. What do you guys think? Can you guys, is it even visible? The slide down? You probably can't even see the slide down because the fade in. Anyone? Anyone thoughts? Sweeky, you had opinions earlier. I think I like it. Yeah, it's pretty fancy. I need to make those circles smaller. Circles are way too big. Yeah, but now the fuchsia's gone. All right. Hmm. Okay, oh, um... I wonder if I set a size now. Let's go in here and say, what is it? Horizontal with request. With request. So let's with request these things smaller. 
Yeah, they look giant. Those circles are bad. So we're going to fix those circles, and I'm going to even change the playlist icons to small, where the X is about right. So we're going to tweak those a little bit. Let's move that in. With request, let's put this at like 25. Actually, let's put them at... I think 25 is too small. Let's go with 30. See what 30 looks like, or 32. Let's pull some, yeah, we'll go 30. All right, let's see what 30 looks like. And let's do this other one at 40. I did, oh, I didn't add tapping yet, 40. We can't even tap on these yet. I didn't finish that control enough. And then let's go to the images, and let's increase this one. Let's put this one at 30. Oh, wow. Where did my icons go? The 30 looks better. Go like 34. And then let's fix our images. I don't know why they disappeared. Yeah, icons went away, but that's fixable. We can fix that. Let's get the sizes right. All right. So let's look at this. All right, those circles are the right size. Now let's see what happened to our images. Why did our images go away? Maybe, let's do this. And then we'll also go like this. All right, so now we'll do that. That'll make those overlay. I think that'll be right. I think the frame got too small for the images and it just freaked out. Since our images are transparent though, we don't need to nest them. We'll just nest the circle. Oh, my office is definitely getting hotter now. Temperature is getting... Whoa, those are too big. <laughs> Way too big. Okay. Let me think through this. So, here's what we'll do. They need to be brought in because they're the exact size now as the frame. And we need to account for the sizing change of the radius. Let's try changing the aspect first. Aspect dot fit. And we might need to just bring this thing in by the... So right now, our, I think we'll need to bring it in by a quarter of the radius. So let's just make them at like 75%. All right, we have to do new math again. New math, new math. All right. Image rect equals... So we'll do S times point. Is this a double or float? It's a double. 0.75. All right. Um, let's 
All right, yeah, they're doubles. Okay, so we've got our image width. So now we're going to do this same exact thing again. And we'll just reuse same variables again. All right. So that should make them 75% smaller, which should be the right size. We might need to bring it in a little bit more, but I think that'll be good. Oh, that's horrible. So bad. <laughs> so bad. What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? Oh, oh, oh. All right. That's what we need. Uh, wrong button. All right. Okay, 75 is exactly, wow, that's exactly lined up now. So we need to go smaller. But it's getting there. We're getting there. Doing all of our fancy advanced layouts. All right. <laughs> no, no, this is easy. And then it always works. I have two different ones with different requirements. Would you bring it in anymore? I'm tempted to bring it in a tad bit more. But I like it. You forget. Do you remember what the old G music looked like? Do you see this? This is the layout for portrait. It's like 50 lines of 50 lines of layout code. Just for portrait. And then we've got it for landscape. I live in this world. I've done it for too long. Back in the day you had to lay out iOS this way or else you couldn't get speed. It was the only way to get the performance. Okay. Now the processor is so fast it doesn't matter. It's just super fast. So yeah, let's do 55. Yeah, I'm tainted by the dark ages. I'm stuck there. I'm just old. So I actually kind of like getting back into this. I can just do it so efficiently. I like it. We have buttons. Now we need to make those buttons work. We haven't done that yet. All right. All right, now to make it work, this dot, um, is this the one it complains about is obsolete? Yeah, it's obsolete. I hate the command stuff. I load the command stuff. I'm mad. Yeah, I have the event handler. I just need to hook it up. Is there one that does the command? Oh, I'm supposed to set that and do command equals this, right? This is just ugly syntax. I'm sorry. Why force me to do that ugliness? Wrap it for me, guys. Wrap it. Hideous. Hideous. Dot invoke this. <laughs> All 
I have a bunch of like helper things that I've done to make this simple and so my own sort of like the bindings when I do it in C sharp because the C sharp Xamarin forms they've really focused on XAML and made it as pretty as possible for XAML but it's made our C sharp ugly. All right. So now that we have those, let's go jump back over and make these buttons do something. The close button. I don't know how I'm going to make that work. I have to think about that. <laughs> I might send a notification. I think that's how I did it in the old one. The old G music, I think, threw a notification. Um. Oh, it had an action close on it that fired it and sent that through. Huh. Okay, I was just curious how it did it. All right, I think we're just going to do a notification, guys. Let's go through a notification. Maybe I have one. Close now playing. I knew I had one. All right. I knew I used a notification. I used that somewhere. All right. So what are uh, where were we? We were down here. Uh, close button dot. Um, oh. Uh oh. Rock, um. And then I can do a tap gesture, because we haven't done this yet. The old one, you'll notice I can just tap here into the background, and it'll just work. So we can add that to that bottom bar. I mean, the... Mini player dot gesture recognizers dot. I'm going to copy that hideous syntax. And now here, what we'll do is notification manager dot share dot to rock toggle. And that's all it does. All right, so we've got that done. Now let's do this again. And this time, this time, we need to do this dot navigation dot push modal async. And we're going to do new navigation page. And we will do. I wonder if I should keep an instance of this thing. Now it should work. Well, I don't know if the sliding now playing stuff hasn't hooked in yet. So let's go to the slide up panel. Is this the C sharp one? No, I want to go to the. Um, let's stick this out. Oops, I did not mean to move my code off the window. There you guys, you guys could see it again. G music. Let's go to iOS. I think I'm going to do this the lazy way. I'm going to be lazy, guys. I'm going to put it in the renderer. Hey, good morning, Kim. You should see where it's getting to. It's looking amazing. Um, Sweeky, no one watches your baseball. I'm sorry, I shouldn't insult your baseball that way. All right dot share dot um what was i looking for 
Now playing. Craig watches cricket? I didn't know, is cricket popular down under? Oh, I have to hook up to both of those. Did equals false. And you'll notice I'm not unsubscribing from my events because these are classes that don't get created a bunch of times. They're just like one set of them. My slide up panel never goes away, so there's no point in even worrying about how would I unhook it and when. So <laughs> it's India versus Australia on Sunday. Who are you both um, rooting for? No, there's no minute hidden memory leaks because the page never goes away. Think about this class. That view's always visible. If it's not visible, I got a bigger problem because my app crashed anyway. Yes, I'm right here. I am right here. There are times when you don't need to unsubscribe. If it's something that never goes away and is always there and visible, why unsubscribe? I'm lazy. I write the least amount of code as possible. How, when would I unsubscribe it? On view disappear? It never disappears. All right, let's see if this works now. I just wrote a lot of code hooked into a lot of things. Come on, Sweeky. You know I'm right. I want to hear your answer. Woohoo! Tapping on the nav bar does not fix the percent, though. We need to fix that. Ah, oh, close. Okay. Presented isn't doing things right. Oh, I have no close buttons on that, though. But that's perfect! Perfecto! So the memory leaks. I don't have any, right? Because when would I unsubscribe from them? How would I? Why would I? If this vi page is always visible, should I unsubscribe? All right, let's go into our thingy jigger here. Yeah, it's always visible. So now, what's our model percent of majiggy thingy? All right, so we need to, on our toggle via code, right here, this equals presented. Value one or zero. Most of my views go away, but there's a few that don't. The root ones, like the slide up, it's just always there. Keep it around forever. All right. Kim, do you see the animation? And I'm not using any Xamarin API animation APIs either. It works! It works! Oh, okay, ready? All in Xamarin Forms, no animation APIs. Lots of math. Very simple math, luckily. All right, I like it. Thank you. Kind of, yeah. I wasn't going for a parallax, but it kind of turned into one. Because this bar, 
goes away in full screen because you don't need it. And then you'll notice these controls come in. I don't know, it's a minor touch, but I like it. Oh, it's still letting me pull up too high. I didn't fix that like I thought I did. Dang it. I know what commit. What commit was that? I totally blo broke something. This one. All right, so let me go fix this. Let's let's test it this time before I claim it complete. So 356-ish, right? 356. That's what I needed. I wasn't supposed to remove a max. I was supposed to change the value in it. Now that thing shouldn't be able to drag off forever. Clamping. Good old clamping. Yeah, I can't drag it beyond anymore. It snaps there. Perfect. All right. What else should we do on this now playing screen? We have this slider which isn't hooked up and working yet. Oh, let's fix this really quick. This does a push up, but I need to add title. And I also need to add the buttons and stuff. Um... You think it should come in from the sides? I We had it. We can bring it in a little bit. Let's just check a little bit. That's really easy to do cuz I have a nice little class that deals with all of that. Actually, let me commit what I have first. Yeah, we'll tweak it. Let's play with it. Let's play with it live. Let's let you guys vote. It's all point of watching this stuff. Um All right, push that up there. Now let's go to our views. Actually, I want to move a few of these things around. Um, any more of those that are controls? Just reorganizing some code really quick. I think that looks good. I got all the ones I wanted out. Let's now... Wait, wait, I did not do... Whoa, I did not change 43 things. What in the world just happened? Interesting. All right, we are going to reset. Deleted my readme. Why won't you discard changes? Uh-oh. That locked up Visual Studio. 
Uh oh. To make a social network like Timber App? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I've never seen an app that couldn't be done in Xamarin, to be completely honest. The thing is, you have full performance. You're, you have all the native APIs if you want. You can use Xamarin Forums to do some more cross platformy magic for you. But, I mean, yeah. Start the IDE. It's actually getting hot in my office and 4.30, so I have to go grill dinner tonight, so I actually probably should end. Let's check this little experiment, and then... Why won't this disregard? All right. Perfect. Let's do our little experiment, and then I've got to go start the grill and cook dinner tonight, or my family will be mad at me. It's barbecue night. We're going to do some kebabs that I've had marinating. I'm excited. Oh, well, the meat's been marinating. All right, so what were we going to test? Oh, I'm not going to move all those views around. I'll do that later. I want to, but we'll just do this. Artwork album view. Yeah, we already quit you. All right, so. All right, so what we will do. Um, men of that. Let's do minus padding. I think that's all I needed to do. All right, Kim, we're checking this out with some padding. It's not a lot of padding. Would you do more? I don't want to go too crazy. That looks like it's consistent. It's not consistent with that button. Let's do 10, because I put five padding on each of those. They'll line up. I don't like doing multiples of five anymore, but we'll fix those. We might go to six or 12 and then do six on the other page. All right, what do you guys think? Padding, yes or no? I have a frame in here. I'll do a decent one. Let's just see what it looks like. And it's not bad to have the code here. And then I'll just set the padding back to zero. I don't mind making it more versatile. What are people's thoughts? I don't have any good artwork on these albums. I need to fix search so I can add more. Doesn't get much more interesting than that one. <laughs> Good old dude ranch. Huh. That's not clipping right.
Let me, that's actually showing a bug though on that image I need to fix regardless. Okay, so on this image, um, aspect equals aspect dot fill. Oh, with the, hmm. It almost looked like there was a corner. There is a corner radius. That's what I'm looking at that's ugly. They made this frame so ugly by default. You have to like kill everything. So do you guys think we should go with this more alive? Sounds like I'm hearing it's interesting. I will add some more. Name an album that you want to see its artwork, and I will add it to this account. We can use the old G music here to add it. Which is kind of funny. We can watch them sync between the two. Did that fix that corner? Yeah, that looks better. That's what I was expecting. What Katy Perry? Name one. Here, we'll look. We'll search over here. Bad, uh, baby metal? Which one? Okay. All right. So you want? Is that an album? Baby metal. Like, is that an artwork? Um, what's there's one that I'm thinking of that I like to use. It's like this. <laughs> Okay, let's add that to our library, and let's do, <laughs> which Katy Perry do you want? All right, so now if we come here, if I, oh, do we not pull the refresh working yet? That's right, if I navigate around, go to albums. Oh, albums is broken. What was that crash? I don't know what they blew up on. <sighs> Let's run it again. Oh, I think I killed the corner radius. I have padding. I have slight padding, but the corner radius is gone. Let's zoom in and check. And actually, I will show you I don't have corner radius. Uh, what I will do to prove it... Let's throw in some fuchsia! Nothing's better at settling a debate than fuchsia. Oh, I'm hiding the inherited padding. <laughs> I'll ditch that. Okay. So, let's do this. Oh, albums doesn't navigate. So, let's go to songs. Let's go pick up one of these. All right. Nice and sharp corners. Okay, and we have our baby baby metal. All right, so let's do and that fuchsia is really shining now. 
All right, let's kill the fuchsia because it makes it too hard to tell what's going on. I think I want that. What I haven't, I can't remember what color I used on the old one. I could look it up. There's a style sheet. G music, iOS, helpers, style. No. Hmm, I thought I had... Maybe I just do it on the now playing screen. I can't remember. All right. That gray... Oh, that shadow might be too much, though. Hmm. What do you guys think? Do I really have nothing? Yeah. I'm unsure if I like it. So here's the old player. Oh, we can do the same one. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if I like the shadow. So that's the old G music. I don't know if I like the shadow either. Might be too much. Yeah, the... Okay, yeah, and it could just be the default shadows. The default shadows suck. It's like radiating all the way around. Shadows don't radiate all the way around like that. It could just be a bad shadow. Because if the shadow properly goes down, or an angle, makes a big difference. All right, so let's ditch the shadow. And I need to get the right gray color. Um, oh, I'm in this one. Album art. All right. Where do I instantiate this thing? It's a UI image view. Oh, I just do the light color. Whatever the form's light color. Half a pixel, I'm telling you. That's the beauty. Oops, wrong swipe. Hmm. Consensus people, do you like the padding? If we go with the padding, I'm going to bring these buttons into match. All right, you want zero padding. Let's kill the padding. I should make the padding a toggle. It's right, we tried. We had to try things. We had to do that evolution of what's better. It's not wasted at all. Now we know. We're not guessing anymore. And we have video proof that it's better without padding. Use all those pixels. All right, do we need to go properly verify it with our baby metal? That is great album artwork. Okay, I do have some layout issues, though. So that's good to know. Nice, really long albums or titles are too too long. So the old G music, it's fancy. And the text font sh it shrinks. Okay, well, I think the only thing left to do on this screen is to fix that layout issue 
and then do the slider. Now the question is, do I do that slider in Forms, or do I do it in iOS? Because I think I want to go with this same fancy one. Uh, but Oh, I need padding on those buttons on the bottom. They do need to come up. I completely agree. All right, so what we'll do for that, yeah, that's easy to fix. You know, I think I'm going to do a dynamic padding. I'm going to use the proper inset, so that way it's right on the older phones without the the phones without that have home buttons, it won't inset too much. So I'll fix that. I don't think I'm going to do that today. Well, let's add those to our to-do. And then let's just set up, let's just move some stuff up. Yes, I need to go grill or else I'm going to be in trouble. All right, so we'll throw our, oops. Save anyway. This is the master. And we'll bring this now playing stuff up here. We'll indent that. And we'll say Oh. All right. And we're going to say that's good. All right, that's looking good. Thanks, everyone. We did awesome today. I'm really, really excited. I know it's tedious. It seems like waste of time. It's tedious to get this stuff right. But, oh, I need to fix all those labels. Let's make sure we throw that in there. Oh. Um, this is... Okay, and then these ones, uh, this one is um, Titles Overflow. All right, I'm super excited. Thank you, everybody, for hanging in there and helping out and contributing. It's so much nice when you guys are part of it and you guys help me do this right because this is awesome. I'm really, really excited with how that's coming along. I can't believe how good that looks. We've done good, guys. We have done good. And I'm just going to commit this stuff up there. And yeah, we've now killed the padding. We've killed that. Um... And we're probably going to move that artwork. I'm going to probably use that same artwork view. Let's do that one everywhere. Because right now these, do those have the frame? Oh, no, that's the old one. The old one definitely has the frame. But these ones don't have the right frame. So we're going to fix that everywhere else. So we want to add that into our to-do as well. Um, so, um, use new album artwork view for song cells. I don't want to forget to do that because that'll make that so much nicer. So we fixed album artwork, um, updated agenda. All right, push that up, and thank you, everybody. It's been fun, and I'll work on this app again next Wednesday. Thanks, guys. See you guys later. Bye.